it's unboxing day. <laughs>
they're not particularly noisy they're fine start and select buttons feel okay however it's almost as if it's sort of on sort of like one plate where if you press one the other one starts moving as well hopefully that doesn't prove any issues when we're when you're actually during gameplay okay analog stick feels pretty decent feels strong and it's just as well that you get <laughs> your little thumb grip to put on there because you're probably going to need it it's, it does look as if it can feel quite slippery so there's that let's have a tour around the device flip it to the bottom here tft card slot moving more over we've got a little button here i believe it is a reset button however i heard that that doesn't actually do anything you've got your speaker here although it be small it is quite powerful working your way around you've got your shoulder buttons you're starting off with your r2 and your r1 However, when you flip it up this way, it only shows you an R on there. It would have been nice to have an R1 on there, but that's fine. It doesn't affect gameplay at all. you got your USB input, so I believe you can put another uh, controller in there, so that's cool. USB Type-C for charging, headphone jack, and your power button. L2 and L1, and again, same thing over here. This is interesting. Headphone jack. TV. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, that just is what it is. And if we continue working it round, nothing on that side, and then we're back to the bottom again where your TFT card slot is. Flip it to the back, quite like the finish on here, sort of an almost transparent type look. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> Let's power this bad boy on, I've been waiting for this for a hot minute still. Let's turn them on. I'm looking at look the camera that I have doesn't do it any justice I'll be honest with you but when I'm looking at it with the naked eye it is crisp like biscuit <laughs> it's looking fresh I'm feeling it loading up emulations taking a little bit of time that's fine okay right so here's what we have you got your Capcom I don't know if it's CPS 1 or 2 Dreamcast Final Burn Game Boy, <laughs> Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Master System. Do you know what? The Master System is quite a decent looking machine, you know, and even looking at it through here, it looks really good. Mega Drive, Nintendo 64, NES, PC Engine. Look, I don't know what that is. It's something to do maybe with Raspberry Pi. If anybody knows what that's all about and what that's for, leave a comment below I'd, I'd love to know what that is PSP PlayStation and this other stuff that I'm not so sure about okay scum VM don't know what that's all about some extra setups Super Nintendo and I think that's all the games and you can have a favorites list as well pretty cool so what you'll notice on here is that you have the player, the type of emulator that it is, and then below here it will tell you the amount of games in that particular emulator, which is really cool. So without further ado, let's get into some gameplay. Let's just start off with the Dreamcast. I know everybody's probably seen a Dreamcast emulation on this already, but I'm just going to do another one again. There we go. Yeah, alright, let me just... Again, my camera doesn't do it any justice, but it's looking... Oh, look, I'm fumbling all over the place. It's hard to play the game through this. Oh, there we go. Analog stick control for this particular game. But, bruv, I can't believe how clean this is. This is mad! Oh, Mr. Coins! My coins! Like, <laughs> sorry, guys, I'm just... Dying all over the place, jumping around like some any guy. Yeah, Sonic Adventure. The Dreamcast emulator seems to be playing smoothly, really well. Yeah, this is gonna be real fun. I can't wait to dive into this later once I lock you it all off. <laughs> it's Toy Story on the PlayStation. Don't really know what's going on here. But as you can see here, just from me running around, it's decent. Again, when I'm telling you, yeah. 
that it's really crisp when you're looking at it with your naked eye. It really is. And I'm really sorry that this camera just doesn't do it any justice. So that's the PlayStation emulator. Runs really well. Okay, Mario Kart 64. Let's see how this plays out. It's actually looking really clean still. It's handling the N64 emulation. Toad. Okay, let's go, let's go. It's actually quite difficult trying to play this through looking at the camera. Oh, bit of lag there. I've noticed that with some of these handhelds, there's always lag at the beginning like that. Okay, well, so far it handles really well. The colours look good. I'm so sorry if I'm moving around, man. I'm trying to do this. There we go. Yeah, man. N64 Mario Kart is handling it really well. To play this particular game as well. Oh, there we go. But as you can see here, when it's all said and done, it runs the N64 emulator really well. On to the next game. Okay. Final Fantasy on the P PSP. Seems to be running <laughs> smoothly yet again. So far, this device seems to be holding up to the name. That it can actually play these emulators smoothly, cleanly and really well. Well, there you have it. RK2020. A decent little nifty device. I'm actually really feeling this and I'm really glad with the purchase. Those of you that do decide to get one, you won't be disappointed. Look, I don't know what the perfect device is in it, but this one's not too bad. It does exactly what's written on the tin. It plays all the various emulators that you'd want it to run and it runs them smoothly. And if I wanted to be, if I really wanted to scrutinize it and say that I had an issue, I think it would have been nice if they allowed you to plug this into a TV like many of the other retro handheld devices that are out there. That would have been an awesome feature. Maybe there'll be an RK2020 2.0, I don't know, with those said features and maybe with a, a metallic or a metal casing. That would be awesome to see. And if they did make one of them, I'd probably buy that too. <laughs> but yeah, this is a decent little device. I hope you liked the video, drop a comment, like, subscribe, if you've got anything that you'd like to say in regards to this device, just drop it in the comments and let me know man, and if you, anybody that does know how to get into these things and attach it to the TV, shout out at me man, let me know, teach me. <laughs> Thanks for watching, peace.